Oh, I apparently missed that before. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Spyro 4 uh, Enter the Dragonfly. I almost forgot what game I was playing for a second there. Anyway, in this part, we're going to be going into... Um... Controller. Controller? What are you doing, controller? Did my controller just die on me? In the middle of my intro? Please, for the thank you. Okay, now it works randomly. Okay, if that happens again, I'm just gonna switch back to my wi my wired one. But I'm a little scared about going to this. L what? I didn't even hop on the freaking platform. Uh, I'm a little scared about going to this level, as I was saying, because uh, this was kind of the downfall of my last LP because of how glitchy it was, or my last attempt at LPing this, I should say, because of just how many glitches I encountered and it crashed my game like twice after doing the whole level which is why I got pissed off and didn't want to do it anymore but that's a story for another time as this loading screen crawls by for forever also I've had a lot of glitches occur, to me, occur in the level this is probably the glitchiest level in the game and it probably would wind up being my favorite level because I kinda I kind of like it a lot, except for the fact that it's so glitchy and you can fall through the ground and die in several spots, and it starts out with a really low frame rate, but... And... We have our first crash already? Oh god, this is exactly what I was afraid of. <sighs> this is going to be a long LP part. All right, let's try this again. And if you stand in one spot long enough, you'll randomly have to start talking to the farmer. Shut up. No one cares. Now let's try going over here this time. There's just a couple um, baskets and vases and gems and stuff over here. As you can tell, I'm getting a lot of slowdown from this level. It's here. That's... That's just the exit, so no real point to going back there just yet. One thing I realized as well as I was cleaning up yesterday is I actually have the guidebook for this game. And, uh, so now I'll be able to actually tell you and make fun of all the official names of all of these enemies here. So, uh, let me just open that up real quick because I do have it right here. Let's see here. Crop Circle Country Enemies. Uh... Large Space Reptox. That's what these guys are over here. And then the other guys are Blue Space Reptox. Um, okay. Those are gotta be some of the most creative game names ever I've ever heard. A plus to whoever came up with those names. I don't think I could have come up with better names myself. And I missed a jam up there. Good thing I saw that already. I don't want to be going around missing gems, especially single gems, because that pretty much pisses just about everybody off when you realize you're missing a single gem. Alright, now before we crash the game, let's get some uh, gems and stuff down here. If I save periodically, it'll, you know, hopefully reduce some of the frustrations of the crashing of this game. There was also one interesting, uh, one like extremely interesting and funny thing I saw in the guidebook that I'll point out when we, uh, when we go to one of the bonus levels. Because I thought that, uh, yeah, it, it, it just seemed like some of the game designers were high when they designed both the game and the guidebook because, well, I guess, is this the Prima one? Yeah, this is, this is a Prima guidebook, but, uh, because they can't afford to say anything bad about a game. Uh, they have to compliment it. And, like, uh, some of their descriptions are kind of off. But, wait, what was I saying? And also, one of the pictures in the uh, book actually shows the gem count at 420. I'll see if I can scan that and put that on screen right now. But, either way, let's move on now that we've cleared out this first section, hopefully. 
Fuck, I had my bubble breath out. What did he hit me with? Nothing came out of his gun. Uh, there is so much slowdown in this level. Jeez. I also read somewhere that this game was originally intended to have like 25 full levels. Which, which, which would have actually been pretty good if they, you know, actually stayed there and finished the freaking game. Because this feels like something you would have in like a beta test or whatever. They tried too hard to make the graphics too good because all this fog and everything over here is like slowing down the whole game. I wasn't trying to talk to you. I was like 10 feet away from you. Shut up. I don't think we can even do your challenge yet anyway, so be quiet. Tractor. Uh, this definitely defines a uh, haunted farm stereotype. Tractors. Crop circles. D did anybody else just see that? That death animation. Or lack thereof, really. Um, yeah. How fun. Anyway, dragonfly right over here. I know I missed that, but we have to come back for it. Where are you, you fool? There you are. What just broke? You guys probably heard that like eight seconds ago from when I said that, but but I had like a vase break or something. Where the hell did he go? You can't see because all this damn fog. Oh boy. Why bubble breath? Why the hell did it have to be frickin' bubble breath? The breath is not useful for anything else in the game. In the Inspire 2 for the Game Boy Advance, you were doing pretty much the same damn thing. But the, uh, but you got the, uh, fireflies by freezing them. A breath that's actually somewhat useful. And you actually started the game with that, which was kind of odd, but they gave it at least a decent story to tell you why you had to start with it. Even though it still made no, no real sense, but we'll get into that game at a later point. Let's focus on this one. So I do have plans to LP that someday, but probably after this I'm going to want to take a break from Spyro games. And I still have to learn to put the goddamn bubble breath away when I'm done with it. Sorry if I'm cursing, I'm just sort of angry because the game crashed on me once already. Alright. You know what? Let's take a save game here just to be safe. If something happens, happens to the recording I'll be a tad pissed off, but we'll see. That's a, a lot of gems there. and I, don't, I could have sworn I never hit that face. Oh well. Oh, and by the way, if anybody's watching me and doesn't know who a loyal gamer is, you need to go check out his channel. He just started a Spyro 2 Let's Play. Like, he brought out the first two parts, and it's already more, way more amazing than mine. I'll tell you that. Um, what? All right, now that—that's the really glitchy part right there that we just passed. So, yeah, I gotta make sure I pick up all the gems and everything. Uh, switch to your bubble breath here and climb that ladder that we passed. Climb it. Climb it. Thank you. Now this guy doesn't even move. Oh, trying to break the game even though the game's already broken. Oh well, whatever. Back on the bridge. Checkpoint me. In case I fall through the level and die. <clears throat> wow. And I apparently have a clogged up mouth that can't say very many words properly. Damn it, I still have the freaking bubble breath out. That's the third time this episode. Uh, oh well. 
Let's see here. Can we get through this without glitching? That would be like the best of things. I think it usually happens when you're backtracking if you're going backwards through that area though. Okay, and of course the gems have to be all freaking zigzagged in the levels that are too damn large. Am I complaining too much? I'm probably complaining too much. I'll stop. Soon. Um, okay. And then we haven't gotten into those guys' names. Those guys are simply named Space Cow. Probably could have guessed that. Considering everything else in this level just has space in the name, too. I, I swear, I flamed that chicken like three times before he actually died. Oh well, let's get all this crap. Uh, we have another electric thingy here. I think this is only for our life, though, but we'll see. Oh no, there's a couple gems up here too. Oh well. And I almost fell there. Because I was thinking I didn't need the triangle button, but I did. Grab the gem, thank you, and I just flew off into the tree without intending to. Your momentum in this game is kind of off can charge into these guys, so if you do it, just be kind of careful. Isn't there a challenge gate here? I think that's in the next area. I don't know. So much of this level looks so like looks like completely identical to other parts of the level. And here's another glitchy part. I don't remember exactly which one it was. It was one of these two long, like cave areas that always glitched up. It would be nice if it happened on camera so I can show it, even though I don't want my game to crash, but no, it wasn't that part. It was definitely the other part. Oh god, did you just see that? The background just completely nothinged. Like, if that's not a word, it is now, but it literally just turned into nothing. The game is, like, warning me. The crash at the beginning of this episode was just an omen of things to come. What time am I up to here? Uh, I've still got like another like probably minute or so if I if I'm aiming for 15 minutes because of the crash and everything. Slowing screens in this game take so long. All right. Well, I guess it's about time for me to end it off here for this episode because I still have to edit this and get this out today, and I probably want to finish the rest of this level before my game crashes on me. So, this is Paper Spyro, and I'll see you guys later. Buh bye bye